Hey, old bitch. I'm in stud. Well, I can't do that. Hey, old bitch. <laughs> I call your DMX. I miss his mix, stud. Hey, old bitch. Seriously? Yeah. No. Why not? What's up, motherfuckers? It's Tuesday. No, it's Monday. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was like, it's a Tuesday. I was questioning myself. Oh, my myself. God. It'd be great if I was a day ahead. <laughs> I was questioning myself. I was like, I, uh... I always like it better when it's actually like Tuesday and I think it's Monday. Because then I'm ahead of the game for the week. Because <laughs> the next day seems like Wednesday when it's actually Tuesday. Then you finally get to Friday, it feels like Thursday, you think you got a day left and you get off work, it's like, oh, we're done. You already know what kind of day I've had and then you're going to confuse me with that. Hey, today is my first day back to work in a week and I am sore. <laughs> Pick it up. I know. Most people fucking work straight through, sick or not. I usually do. Your fly's open. That's correct. But not really. It's right there. It's not open. Yep, it's right there. Uh, so I had a thought. I'm bored. You ever have to take a shit at work? Now, shitting at work's not optimal for anyone, I don't think. Except for a few guys at my job, they think they can just shit all fucking day. And you just go in there like, hey, what's happening? And they go into the stall. Like, like, I'm not that friendly when I go to take a shit. I'm like, shh. I need my quiet time. Don't fucking talk to me. There's poop, uh -huh. there's poop being emitted from my anus. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to talk to someone else. Well, I go to the door when you're pooping. Yeah, you do. That's my, well, it's home. There's more of a comfort level at home. Those random people. I don't just go there and have a casual conversation, though. It's probably someone you need an answer for right now. But no. Now, sometimes you're at home and you just have, like, a really messy poop. And you get a wipe and it just, like, just keeps smearing. You can't get it off. I had one of those today. At work. I didn't tell you about this earlier. I told you I took a poop. But it's like, I had to flush twice. Once just to get all the toilet paper down to make sure it didn't clog up. Because when you got a hairy butt, the shit sticks to the hair. It's like trying to drag mud through grass. Why am I hearing about this? <laughs> well, I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Well, that's disgusting. I don't even want to think about it. And after this, I'm supposed to eat spaghetti? Oh, yeah. Spaghetti makes for good poops. But yeah, you ever have one of those kind of poops where you're just like, oh, you use three quarters of a roll of toilet paper just to clean your ass off before no. you even get to wipe your actual butthole. And I hope that I don't have a hairy ass. I hope so too. I ain't about to tongue fuck that fucking tongue chocolate fucking starfish. Or fucking. Mm. You know your little balloon nut? Are you done? <laughs> what's, what's your favorite song? Spread my ass cheeks out while your dick is deep up in my ass. I was say it's a favorite song. It's a good song. That's your favorite line, and you're like, I can't wait to get home and do that to me. No, probably not. Your nickname in high school was Little Anal Annie. That is disgusting. Like you lost, you took so many ass fuckings, you lost the elasticity to your sphincter. Are you done? No. So actually, when you have to fart, you kind of have to clench real tight, because if you just let Loose the slightest bit, it just flops Ew. out. That'd be you. You need sphincter rejuvenation surgery. You know that's a thing? Yes. You know? It makes you see good that. Well, <clears throat> that's where they put the little tight rubber band around there. Yeah. Well, porn stars get that too. You get fucked in the ass and their ass won't constrict anymore. Otherwise, poop just falls out. Otherwise, just poop just falls out. That's fucking nasty. <laughs> I don't understand why you want to get, you know, I guess, I guess general fucking might not be so bad, but I think it's probably worse for people that stick extremely large objects in their ass, like the Black Destroyer probably. Mm. They're probably not healthy for your sphincter. Probably not. No. Fisting, anal fisting is probably bad for the elasticity of your sphincter. I would think so. 
I wish we could like contact the doctor, you know, just put them on camera, just put the little screen up there and we could talk to a doctor firsthand about some of these issues. Did you ever watch the Sunday Night Sex Show with Sue Johansson? With that old <clears throat> woman? Yes. Yes. Oh my God, that was like the greatest thing ever, <laughs> based out of Canada. And she had all these little props the too. And she had the treasure box. Yeah. The treasure box, she'd pull out something and she'd be like doing the motions yeah. and stuff. And then I she had collars. That. Dude, I remember when I was in college, me and a roommate were just flipping through TV and we saw her. I think we flipped through and she had said something crazy. I was like, wait, what that old bitch say? So I turned it back and we're like, what the fuck is this? You know, and we're sitting there watching and before long, you know, other roommates together. I'm like, what are you guys watching? I'm like, you gotta check this shit out. So every night it was on, we, if we were all at the house, we'd all fucking gather and watch the Sunday Night Sex Show. Oh, this was fucking hilarious. It was hilarious watching that, 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 that was, and hearing her explain it. Oh, God, this little frail old lady. For his pleasure. And you just want to stick two fingers up into the vagina, you know. The come here motion. And, and she'd, like, get in her hand and she'd, like, just... I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> that bitch was awesome. Sue Johansson, I need to read... She, she might be dead now. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Is she even alive? I mean, I don't think she was that old. I'm sure she could still be alive. But that's a great show. They need more shows like that. Not that Dr. Ruth shit. It speaks in, like, British or whatever the fuck she is. I'm not sure I've heard about that one. She's a real old lady. used to talk about sex. Like, she'd be, like she'd do uh, talk show interviews and shit. And just have sex talk about general shit, kind of like Sue did. Mm -hmm. I don't know... I never watched a whole lot of her. I don't know if she got as in-depth as Sue. Maybe she got worse. I don't know. Yeah, she was like the sex woman. Dr. Ruth. Why isn't there like a dude sex thing? Like, oh yeah, just plow her in the ass. It would probably be considered... You know, my favorite sex talk show would be a guy that stupid. just doesn't give a fuck. He'd take a call and he's like, hey, hey Frank, uh, I got a question. My girlfriend and I have been together for three years, and there's a couple things I've been wanting, like maybe a threesome, and then I just want to, I, I wanted to kind of explore with anal. He'd be like, dude, fucking buy a bottle of tequila. Take several shots at the house. Just take her to the bedroom, bend her over, and just jam it in her ass. You could do that. Because so. the song says tequila makes her clothes fall off, and might as well make her ass open up, too. I would make a great sex therapist. I got a lump on the side of my penis. Hold up. What kind of lump? Is it like a bruise? Is it like a mole? Is it like a wart? <laughs> Is it a bulge coming from the skin? Well, you know, it's like it looks kind of like a wart. Cut that shit off. Take a, this is what you do. Get you a utility knife, a box cutter. Hold the box cutter under a propane torch. Until the blade turns red. <laughs> Make sure you have someone else to hold ice against the wart on your penis so it numbs it. As soon as it feels numb, you take that red hot blade and you slice it off. I don't think it would be a very good sex thing. And after you slice it off, place that hot blade against the uh, wound to like, what's that, cauterize? Cauter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seal that shit shut. Be sure to disinfect and change the dressing regularly. I don't think that's very smart. I think you should probably see a doctor because you might have AIDS. AIDS? Or herpes. I don't think that'd be a herpes or AIDS. Never know. More like a genital wart. Ew. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever seen pictures of genital warts, but some of those things look completely nasty. Now, if my dick looked like a fucking monolith of fucking stalagmites, stalactites, whatever the fuck they are from a cave, I don't know, I'd function. No bitch is gonna wanna fuck that. And how the fuck would you even jerk it? It'd be like all like rough and weird. Oh, it's actually on it, on it? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, I thought it was just around there's a, it. There's a variety of different kinds of oh. genital warts, and some of them are like extreme, like it just engulfs the whole oh. penis. That's disgusting. It is, dis it is disgusting. That. And it's like, well, I guess you should have wrapped it up there, Jim Bob, before fucking your cousin. I saw a meme tonight. It said, uh, 
After watching Pornhub, I kind of low-key want a stepsister. That's disgusting. Is, is, is fucking a stepbrother or sister like a thing now? Might be. I don't know. Like, that's fucking weird. That even happened locally with a That did happen now. with, like, some middle schoolers. That's fucking weird. At what point? Like, I read it and I'm like, wait a minute. Is there actually a porno? Did you look it up? No, I didn't. I just looked at it and I'm like, is there really porno where you're fucking your stepbrother or stepsister? Probably. What the fuck? There's porno on everything. No, you crazy Dutch bastards. If you can think of anything sexual, there's a porno. Here's the thing. If I'm, you know, 16, 17, and I'm dating someone, already dating someone, for let's say six months, and then my mom or dad wants to get with their mom or dad, I'm sorry, I was here first. They need to take a fucking sidestep. Because there ain't no way in hell that my girlfriend of six months that I love is going to be my stepsister. Because my mom or dad want to fucking get with their parents. I'm sorry I don't want to fucking intrude on happiness, but they're intruding on my happiness by doing that. What? Uh. Thoughts? No. I'm not going to go there. Why? <laughs> Hold up, you got this look on your face. I'm going to be like a whole conversation, you already know, when I get into some rant. Mm. Rant it, baby. I'm not going to rant it. Rant I'm it. Done. Do it. I want to know what you're thinking. I think the world wants to know what you're thinking when it comes to this. I agree that nobody should intrude on anybody's happiness. However, if you're 16 and only been with a chick for six months, the chances are of you guys having to have sex yet or of actually working out in life, it's probably very slim. Very slim. I agree. I agree with that. And your parents are older. They know what they want. They've been around longer. And they kind of have, I mean, it probably would suck, but. Okay. I see where you're coming. Let me redirect the question. Say you have a 16-year-old son who is dating this girl. Six months. And then, say you're at a sporting event for the school, and meet her dad. And you know she is dating your son. So you know ahead of time they're dating. Mm -hmm. Before anything, like, do you just trump their fucking dating? Be like, hey, what's happening? Mm -mm. I mean, I couldn't do that. I'd, I'd be, hold off. I'd be like, hold up, wait a minute, your, your, <laughs> your daughter's dating my son. But it'd probably keep contact. Your daughter's dating my son. That could make things a little awkward. You know. I'd be like, we could keep contact because when this ends in a couple months. Most likely it would end. <laughs> but I mean, I couldn't do it. I'm like, I ain't gonna no, fucking. I can't either. But I mean, if it comes actually down to it, like but that you, situation. You have a very valid point, though. Especially like if the parent. I mean, I think it's a hundred percent wrong. It's kind of a respect thing, I guess, with me. But if the parents are already in a relationship, which is what happened locally, mm -hmm. and then the brother and sister decide to hook up, well, they already knew that was wrong. Mm -hmm. They obviously live together because their parents love each other. Mm -hmm. So that is absolutely wrong. Period. None and the only thing I can think of are like, well, we're not blood. Oh, yeah, that's what they all, yeah, that's what they think. You're still stepbrother and stepsister in that is weird. I mean, I understand their concept that this doesn't work that way. Not when in my becomes, fucking head. it's like, parent, or kids are already dating, and then parents dating. I mean, I can never personally do it. Would I look down on somebody that does it? Probably not. And then there's, there's the thing, maybe you're dating someone, your parents don't need me, you know, you, like, I'm going on a date, who is it? I don't know. You your know, parents don't actually fresh know, thing, yeah. whatever. And then you just happen to meet their dad. <laughs> you know, a couple days later, like, hey, how's it going? You want to go out for dinner sometime? <laughs> so then, 
you guys' kids are dating, and then you guys are dating like, hey, you want to meet my kids? Let's go out to dinner. Then you all get together, and the kids are like, that'd be way awkward. Oh, fuck. Your mom's dating my dad. <laughs> my cousin tried to date me. I didn't know. No, listen. But we didn't know that we were related at that time. And I didn't really like him. But he kept trying to talk to me and, like, get me to date him and stuff. And I said his name. Oh, you actually told him who your cousin is. Yeah, you? I said his name around my mom. My mom's like, wait a minute. I think he might be your cousin. So she did a few phone calls and stuff and come to find out he was like a third party cousin. Didn't he still try after that? Yeah, he did. Now, see, there are situations like that where, oh, you just don't know. Hmm. You're like, how the fuck are we, why would we be related? And then he didn't want to believe it. Well, and you got to think there's situations out there where two people just hook up and they're like, they're banging the shit out of each other, you know, and they get to talking to their friends and like, well, doesn't your mom know his dad? And you're like, wait a minute, mom, you know this guy's dad? Oh, yeah, that's your cousin. Just fucked my cousin. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's happened. I'm sure I could have with him. Like, he would not. He was very persistent. And since I told him that, like, I've had no conversation with him. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I think I might be friends with him, or I used to be friends with him on Facebook, but with I'm, no. I, yeah, I remember that whole thing. You're like, wait a minute. I think this guy's my cousin. Because we were together, weren't we? No, or was that before mm -hmm. we were together? No, this was when we were... Oh, then you were just telling, telling, you were just telling me about it. I was probably it. just telling you about it. Because oh, yeah. it, it was creepy. Because after I told him he was my cousin, he wouldn't believe me. And I'm like, I'm well, sorry. If someone tells me I might be your cousin, I'm going to do some fucking investigating. Yeah, I'm like, well, why don't you call this person or this person? Then my mom told me that it was on his side of the family, and he didn't. Like, he still <sighs> didn't believe me. <laughs> Funny story about that. When I went to the doctor Thursday to get my doctor's note, dude took my blood pressure when mm -hmm. I was high. He looked at my name and was like, You from around here? <coughs> I know I was born in Muncie. He's like, Oh, a Muntuckian. <laughs> he said he went to Ball State for like a year or whatever. For New Tucky in Newcastle. <laughs> the whole fucking state of Indiana is like that, really. <laughs> Except you. You make fun of us, Kentuckians. You're not a Kentuckian. I'm almost a Kentuckian. That's what I'm an Indianian. <laughs> Might as well be you fucking hill jack. I've had a rough day and you're going to still give me a hard time. You see what kind of day I've had. I can't even fucking spell. I can't type. I gotta put a fucking Gatorade cap on a fucking bottle and drop it in the sink first. In a puddle of water. Actually, it's a puddle of the Gatorade that you dropped it in that you just dumped out. And then you giggle at me. Yes, because it's funny. Are you fucking done? You giggled with me. We giggled together. Because that's all we I've shared, done we all shared day. A, we shared a giggling moment, I, I believe, at that point. Because all I've done all day is pick up after myself. Like, if I could just get this right the first time, then I would say five minutes. And then instead of it being 11 o'clock right now, it might only have been 10. Well, let's just say... Had the rules been reverse here, you would have been cracking up. I probably wouldn't have, because it kind of made me angry. <laughs> Not that you were laughing. It made me angry because I done did something else stupid. You done did it. Done did it. You done did it. There's my Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mixed Dud done did it. On that <laughs> note, we're going to call this one an end. We got some amazing spaghetti to eat that Miss Mixed Dud made. I didn't make it. I was doing homework. Oh, so I, I made well, I kind of made some of it. You you worked on the noodles a bit. I cut the but I worked on I worked on the meat and oh. the seasoning and the sauce. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy some fucking well deserved goddamn spaghetti. <laughs> Cheers, motherfuckers. Moliker Tuesday. Moliker Monday. This is. You're on tomorrow. Wake up thinking it's Wednesday. Oh my god! I'm gonna set the tell this point all fucking week. I'm like, god damn it! It's only. Fucking Thursday? No, it's Wednesday. Fuck! It's even worse. Monday. Molly motherfuckers. 
I'm gonna stick this into the bottle right in her vagina tonight, and she's gonna fucking scream and writhe in pleasure. I fucking think not. And I'm all licked in. I'm like, uh, what? He just looked the real thing. Oh, I will do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces, uh, motherfucker. Yeah, there you go. That's mixed up with the burp. <laughs>